Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. We're going to have a go at something different today. You can see what we've got mounted on the faceplate. Half a bit of wood, look. It's a bit of bur oak. Some of you that follow the Facebook page will have seen this piece in, in the workshop when I found it. What I've done is just screwed it straight to a faceplate. And what I'm going to do is try and do a bit of wall art with it. Something a bit different, it's a bit of bur oak. So uh, as you can see I've put a pencil line on so that I stay clear of the screws that are coming in from the back in the centre here. Not quite sure what we're going to do but we'll find a design as we go along. Right guys, so I think I'm, I'm happy with what I've done thus far. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of sanding. Obviously, I can't do a lot of hand sanding on this. It's going to hurt if it catches, isn't it? So, hand sanding predominantly. I've sanded this face already. With this outer rim, I've done it a bit by hand and I've done it a bit by using one of these shaped blocks. Now you can get these for uh, car body repairs and it's velcro blocks and they come in a, a set with a five or six different shapes. This one is concaved and tapered and I use these a lot doing my hollow twists and that and I just thought that with a bit of abrasive on there look that's a brilliant way to sand that. Just help keep that edge that rolled edge and so I should continue doing that and then I'll, I'll get the other one of these and try and get it into this concave here and then the rest will be done by hand and what I intend to do is ebonize this outer rolled edge and ebonize that bead now I'm also intending to put some brass in the burring, in all the burring, that's what I'm going to do there, just to lift it out a little bit. And then what do I do with this? Well, I could scorch it, but if I scorch it, although this will be dull and the rim will be shiny, it'll all be too black. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm going to do something different. I think I'm going to do some colour. Dun dun dun. I hate colour. No, I'm not going to colour it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try a bit of antique gold wax. Yeah, now I was watching somebody's video the other day and they used it. I haven't seen it before, haven't used it before. So I think what I'm going to do to tie in with the flecks of brass on the burring. I'm going to give that an antique gold effect. I'm going to try to, anyway. Let's see how we get on. Right, so I had a whoopsie off camera. Uh, I had a catch here while I was trying to clean something up and it went pear-shaped. So I've changed the design slightly. I'm putting in a concave in here and I've just got to, I've just had to sharpen the tool and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more before going back to the blooming brass 
and then laying again. See, you can see I just got a little bit of dew just at the bottom. There's a line there, so I just want to do that, clean that off before I finish with the scraper. But as you saw, I always work downhill with a scraper, so I start here and go down towards the center and then pull out and come onto the right hand side of the concave and go down towards the center. I always seem to get a catch coming uphill, so I don't do it. Always work it down from either side towards the centre and then finish the centre last. So I'm quite happy with that now. Any little marks that are left there now, I should take out with a little bit of abrasive. Right, back to inlaying with the brass then. Right, so I've inlaid the brass in the concave. And in rubbing off the excess, what I've actually done is I've caught the bead a couple of times. So I'm going to have to re-ebonise that. Just touch it up a little bit. But before I oil it, I wanted to show you what this this uh, rub and buff wax has done. I don't know whether you can see that as clearly on there. But it's an antique gold effect. Now, you would have seen me applying it with a cotton wool bud earlier in the, in the video. It went on quite easy. Uh, what I did was I put it on with the cotton wool bud and then on my Dremel I've got like little cotton buffing wheels and I used that to buff it. Now, I'm not sure as I like it. I like the process. I like the product, but I don't necessarily like the colour. Um, it was way, way too bright even after buffing, which darkened it slightly. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the blowtorch to it and just darkened it by going over it with a few passes with a blowtorch. I think time will tell when we put the oil on and see the final colours. Um, 
we'll find out whether it's going to look right. I'm not 100% convinced. I think if I was to do this again, I would not do the brass inlaying and just do the antique gold effect. I wouldn't have done both, if you know what I mean. What I should have done was bought a brass effect wax to go on there rather than an antique gold. I didn't realise it was going to be quite so in your face. But live and learn. So we'll keep on as we're going. I've got to ebonise this bead again a little bit. And then I shall oil it. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so what I've done is I brushed on the oil along this broken edge, natural edge. And I did it with the brush because I didn't want to rub a cloth or a tissue tissue over that surface because you're forever picking out bits of tissue and also I would have damaged the effect I had. Once I brushed the oil onto it I then got the rotary tool with a little cloth mop on it and what I did was I ran that over it and as you can see from the state of the mop the mop picked up the scorching that I'd done on that antique gold effect and it's rubbed it in, rubbed it in more and I quite like it. It's dulled it even more. So that edge now, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to continue oiling the rest of it and we'll have a look at what it looks like in a minute. Well, there she is, guys. Just needs the back sorting. And I should do that after the second coat of oil has dried on the front. It'll be a wall-mounted piece, so I'll have to fit a little D-loop on the back. But it hadn't turned out too bad. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. All comments are always welcome. Cheers guys, look after yourselves.